Welcome. Today's lesson is on fertilizer calculations. When we take a look at fertilizer compounds, there are a wide variety of them, and you need to know a little bit about how to read the fertilizer label to get the most out of each of those uh, compounds. Uh, some of the formulations of things are like, like uh, urea. Urea is a widely used and relatively cheap and inexpensive way to apply dry nitrogen. It is, the formulation is 4300, that's the guaranteed analysis. It's nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. So 4300 means 43% of it is uh, nitrogen. And then there's ammonia nitrate, that is 2100 NPK. So when we are doing the calculations, it's really important to understand what those numbers at the very top of my screen say, 1050. That is the percentage of each of those macro elements, those macronutrients that are in fertilizer. 10% nitrogen, 5% um, phosphate, and 8% potassium. That's what those numbers mean. So when we look at this number 10, it's giving us the percentage of nitrogen. 5% or 5 means 5% 5 of phosphate. And then of course, when we get to eight, it really means potassium and this percentage, in this case, 8%. So that's an important uh, part when we're doing all these. Now, now what you really need to understand is, is you don't necessarily need to know the weight of these things because you're going to figure that out. Depending on, it, it really doesn't matter whether it's 5 pounds or 500 pounds, 10% is 10%, 5% is 5%. So you need to kind of keep that in order. Those numbers mean percentages, and those are really important in order to be able to calculate these, uh, these amounts. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to find out what the weight of the three elements, NPK, in a 100-pound bag of 10-5-8 fertilizer. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with nitrogen, uh, 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 fairly simple. We're going to Again, look at just the nitrogen. That means we're just going to be looking at this, 10%. So when we're looking at that, we're, we're going to be taking a look at what that uh, means in terms of this 100-pound bag. Um, because a lot of times they come in 80-pound bags or 50-pound bags or what have you. So the weight is immaterial. It's still 10% nitrogen. That's all it is. So when we're taking a look at, at nitrogen, we're going to be calling it basically 10% in, the, in this particular bag because it's 10, 5, 8. Taking the 10 because it's nitrogen, first um, macro element that, that we, we run across here. So it's 10%. So if it's 10%, another way you can look at it is in a decimal. Point, uh, one. Point 0.1 is the same thing as 10%. Now we have to figure out or calculate the, the weight of it. So we take our decimal. In this case, it was and still is point 0.1. We're going to take a look at that. And then what we're going to do is going to multiply that number by the weight of the bag. So in this case, it's a 100-pound bag. That should be pretty easy. Point 0.1 times 100 is going to equal 10 pounds. So in a 100-pound bag, if it's of 10.58, that means 10% is going to, of that 100 pounds is going to be nitrogen. So it would weigh 0 0.1 times 100 is going to equal 10. So far, the math is pretty simple. It doesn't get much harder. And again, 10.58, we're looking at 5 now. We're going to be looking at the number 5 in this formulation in this bag same bag it's a hundred pounds of uh, of this 1058 formulation so we know it's five percent and we're going to uh, convert that to decimals so that's 0 0.05 and to kind of give you a little heads up on this when this five percent you got to convert it into of course decimal the way you do that is just move it because it's a hundred Remember, we're, we're, a percentage is a hundreds, so you're going to move it twice. One, the decimal once, twice, so I put a zero there. So it's 0 0.05. And, of course, we're going to multiply that 0 0.05 by the number 100, and that is going to give us five pound bag, or excuse me, five amount, five pounds of phosphate in this 100 pound bag. 
Now, again, this is kind of getting kind of redundant, but we got one last one, potassium, 10, 5, 8. And we're looking primarily at 8 here because that is potassium. So what we're going to do is, again, 100-pound bag, and we're going to take that 8%, and we're going to convert it into 0 0.08, and take that 0 0.08, multiply it by 100, and then we're going to get a grand total of 8 pounds. So um, just to keep myself honest here, let's, let's just do this. 100 times 0 0.08. And you multiply that 8, it's 100. And remember, there's 2, 1, 2. So we're going to move this over, 1, 2. So we get 8 pounds. There you go. That's how the math is done. And I hope that this has helped you. Uh, we're going to be um, doing some more problems because you really need to practice on this more than anything else because at first it doesn't make me feel uh, quite right, but common sense really takes over most of the time. So we have eight problem sets. If you go to the Google Classroom and go to your account and go to the very top, the most recent assignment is the eight problem sets that has to do with calculating fertilizers. If you really like this, and I know a lot of you did, um, please subscribe and hit like. We'll see you in the lab. Thanks again. Bye.